Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I think you came here for a good reason. <laughs> today we are talking about the thing that truly broke the internet for a few hours <laughs> and has had so much hype over the past few weeks. Today we are talking about the one, the only, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collaboration. I picked up a few pieces but my main focus was the conspiracy palette. This is my first ever Jeffree Star palette purchase. It was a big spend for me as far as palettes go. Not the most expensive palette that I've ever bought, but coming up to Christmas, you know, it's a, <laughs> a lot to spend on yourself. <laughs> but, you know, I spent some more money by getting the liquid lipsticks as well. Um, <laughs> but yes, today I'm going to be doing a demo of the Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson Conspiracy eyeshadow palette, how the shades perform, how they apply on the eye, and also I'm gonna go through swatches as well. We'll do those first. I also got three liquid lipsticks and I'll do swatches of these on my lips as well. But yeah, we're gonna be getting into the shades in a second. But before we do get right on into the nitty gritty, if you are new to my channel, I hope you decide to subscribe and stick around for the long run. I upload twice a week on here for you guys and I always enjoy seeing new faces so feel free to hit the red button and the bell button down below and that'll just notify you when I upload so um yeah without further ado let's get into these products and everything so the conspiracy palette was available on Morphe Jeffree Star's website and also Beauty Bay it was 48 pounds in the UK this is the outside packaging for the palette it's very Twilight Zone to me I don't know why it just is it reminds me of it but yeah this is just the outside packaging and then we'll I'll open it up and I'll just show you guys if I could <laughs> this is the actual eyeshadow palette it is such good quality it's like weighted and also it feels like almost like faux leather it feels like a true kind of briefcase I've already used it so it's a little bit dirty already but <laughs> you get the idea it's got this awesome matte and vinyl spiraling on it with the conspiracy and the Shane Dawson logo which is actually like metal really good quality also even the latches on here like you are paying a pretty penny for this but the quality really shows <laughs> for the kind of price that you pay. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Oh. There's a lot of shades in here. There's a lot of range in here. There's a lot of color in here. You might open it up and feel a little bit overwhelmed, but you do have neutrals and everything in here. One thing I should say with the eyeshadow palette is it is actually an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. So some of these eyeshadows aren't actually made for the immediate eye area. Attention, cheese dust, sleep paralysis, food vibes, my pills, Trisha, not a fact, flaming hot, pigment are the ones that aren't intended for the eye area, which is actually quite a lot in an eyeshadow palette. But you'll hear that a lot with pressed pigments and it's because of the dyes that are put into them. They can cause staining around the eye, but it's something they have to disclose. So just to be completely transparent, there is that message on there and it is on the back of the palette for you guys. The liquid lipsticks for the UK were 16 pounds. And again, these were all purchased off Beauty Bay. I picked up the shades, I gotta go, Ryland and Are You Filming? I already have Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, so I already know I love the formula, but I just wanted to see the consistency with these shades and see if they were still just as good. As usual, Jeffree killed it with the packaging. Um, I love the black on silver. And I actually picked up one other thing, um, which comes in this pink box when you get it. And it is the collaboration mirror that they created. I I couldn't not get myself one. You guys know if you're on my channel, I love handheld mirrors. So I had to pick up one. It's the Pink Pig mirror. They have one in black as well. This is 25 pounds. It was kind of pricey, but honestly worth it. <laughs> It's really high quality and also the mirror is really good as well. It's also the size of my head. So that's great. <laughs> so yeah, that's just like the brief details on pricing and where to get it. So yeah, now let's move on to more of the exciting stuff. Let's get into the swatches for the actual eyeshadow palette. Hey guys, it's actually a different day. Um, I'll explain why later in the video, but I'm just re-recording the swatches for you guys. So I wanted to do these ones a little bit differently. I thought I'd kind of live swatch and do it on camera for you guys. To swatch them, I'm just gonna go around in the pan three times and just swatch each color as it comes. I know swatches aren't a true representation of how how it applies on the eyes but we're gonna be getting into the eye looks in a little bit but here are some swatches for you guys anyway here's ranch my pills tanacon 
and Diet Root Beer. Then we have Just a Theory and Spiraling. Whoa. And that is the first row of swatches on my pale ass skin. <laughs> Obviously these like lighter shades just kind of merge into my skin tone, but that's the first row. How are we feeling about this background by the way? <laughs> It's my new kind of Christmassy one. Let me know if you like it by giving a thumbs up. I'm not 100% sure on it yet, so I need some reassurance. Okay, so this is the second row. We have Conspiracy, Pigment, Food Videos, and Trisha. Whoa, that one's crazy. Then we have Cheese Dust, and then Flaming Hot. So that is the second row completed. And obviously, as you guys are seeing, I'm just doing one swipe swatches. I'm not going in and buffing them over. I'm just showing you as they are. As you can see, the Trisha shade has left a little bit of staining on my arm, so just bear that in mind. Now the third and final row, we have What's the Tea? Diet Cola. Wow. Not a fact. Sleep Paralysis. Illuminati and then my rides here. Right, so let's get right on into this baby. I have not even opened this as of yet. You guys would have probably seen swatches and that by now, but I haven't looked at this yet and I'm really excited to. <laughs> let's open it together. Oh, it's really tight in there. <laughs> Ta-da! And there she is in her glory. I quite like the outside packaging as well. I'm probably gonna keep it in this maybe to display. The amount of detail in this is crazy. This little metal plaque, it has like the tiniest bit of pink detail in as well to like link in with Jeffree Star. I think it's really, really cool. But it's what's on the inside that counts. So let's open this baby up. Whoa, okay. We have some options in here. <laughs> so this is the palette. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. We have such an array of colors in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think I need more eyes. Um, <laughs> I'm really interested by the shade, which is What's the Tea? It's a very pastel shade. Also Sleep Paralysis looks like such a weird shift. Almost like a purpley, browny black kind of color. And food videos just like shouts at you <laughs> from the heavens. Um, I'm just gonna take a think for a sec and decide what I wanna do on my lid. But yeah, just, just one second. <laughs> Okay, so I've had a little bit of a thought and you guys are probably gonna think I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> but I was thinking about doing like a grungy eye. So the first shade that I'm gonna go into is my rides here, <laughs> which is the black. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but this is what I'm feeling. <laughs> I've already primed my eye with the P. Louise base and we are just gonna get right on into it, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's just dip right on into the shade. Not getting a lot of kickback, there is like a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about to kick up in the pan. It's just something to note if you are. And I'm gonna be using my pig mirror, which is like so big. It's like bigger than my face. The mirror actually is the full scale of the pig, which is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, let's just tap out these creases and go right on in with the black shade. I wanna make it very like circular on the lid, so I'm just gonna start packing this on. Ooh, that looks quite pigmented. <laughs> I'm just literally just stamping the color on. I wanna layer some shimmers on the lid as well, but I just wanna get the depth and this color on first of all, and then we'll blend it out later. It's not the blackest black eyeshadow. It has more of like a gun metal kind of effect to the lid. Like if it was to compare it to some other blacks in my collection, it's not the deepest, richest black, but it's still a decent dark shade. I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit. I am gonna be going over with a different color, but just to obviously start the blend, I'm just going over this. Okay, so now we've got that blend started. I'm gonna now go in with What's the Tea? This is about the same kind of kick up, nothing more, nothing less. And I'm gonna go around these edges. This is such a pretty blue, by the way. It is like a Tiffany box kind of blue. It's very pretty, but I'm just going to blend over these edges and see if this works. It is quite a light shade, so it may not work over the black, but we shall see. Ooh, in doing that, it's obviously deepened up that Tiffany shade. Looks very pretty, I quite like that. Just gonna take a different blending brush. This is a little e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm just gonna go over those edges and try and lighten it up a little. So I do feel like the shade has slightly oxidized just a little bit also, so it's not just the black that we're adding on top. I feel like the colors 
deepened as I've put it on. Okay, the blend on these though is so nice, so smooth. You guys see that? It's so nice. I'm just going in with a little bit more of this black and just deepening up these areas a little. I want this to be very blended and blown out, so I'm not worrying about this too much. And I am gonna be going on the lid with a shimmer, so I'm not worried about the lid at the moment, you know? I'm just going back in with my blending brush. Also something to mention, I have pretty much no fallout underneath my eyes, which is amazing considering these are such dark tones and you saw the fallout in the pan. I don't care if there's fallout in the pan if there's none on my face, that's fine. So I really wanted to use sleep paralysis, but also I wanna use Illuminati. This is a hard choice, man. You know what, I was drawn into sleep paralysis first, so I'm gonna go in with that first of all and see what happens. Ooh, picks up quite well on the brush, actually. It looks very purpley, gold reflect in it. This looks like a very interesting shade. I'm just gonna go straight over the top of the lid. I'm not gonna add another base or anything, and we'll see how this turns out. Ooh, so pretty. I love that shade, oh my gosh. It's so different. I've never seen a shade like this and it just keeps on going, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna fade this out to the sides. I want this look to be very blended. I didn't really want to do like a cut crease or anything like that. I may do that in a different look later on, but I just wanted to just play, you know? In the pan, it looks like it's gonna be very dark, but then on the actual lid, it's so reflective that it really pops off on the lid. Such an interesting shade. Okay, I like this so far. And that's dry as well. I've literally just applied that with a brush, dry, which is crazy. I haven't used my fingers, I haven't used any setting spray. That is just it by itself. I am really tempted to go in the middle with Diet Cola, just because I think that would really like pop it off and really make this kind of halo eye effect, but effortlessly. Let's, let's do it, let's do it. Again, that picks up on the brush quite well. I really lightly pressed in because I don't want a lot of product. And I'm just gonna press this in the center to add a little bit more dimension. Ooh hoo hoo, wow. I can see why everyone raves about Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadows now. They perform so well. It is like A++, look at that, that is dry. It's so freaking pigmented and reflective. I am sold. <laughs> I'm just going back in with sleep paralysis and just blending the edges just a little bit. Man, that is a pretty eye look. Ooh, I love it. Okay, um, <laughs> I have the smallest amount of fallout from, I think, maybe some of the shimmers. Maybe if I just... There's barely any. Like, not even worth mentioning. So I feel like even if you had your base on, it wouldn't be that much of an issue, especially if you powdered under your under eye. You'd just be able to brush it away. I'm gonna go ahead, put my base on and my other eye and everything, and then we'll finish up the eye look. Be right back. All right, I'm sorry if the lighting has changed. It's now dark outside. It gets dark so quickly now. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've just done a quick base. I did one other thing. I just added a little bit of my rides here. So when I put on lashes, it'll disguise the band a little bit. But now for the lower lash line, I was thinking maybe this deep purpley color would look good. It's almost like a cranberry kind of color. And I thought that would look nice on the lower lash line just to switch it up a little. Super pretty and pigmented. I'm hoping this is gonna look nice with this look. We shall see. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with this little detailer brush. This is a Morphe M213 brush. Ooh, that's such a pretty shade. I really love that. Does it go with this look? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not, because it's slightly of a warmer purple than what I thought it was gonna be. But it's very vibrant and very pretty. I'm gonna go back in with the What's the Tea shade and try and blend this out just a little bit. I'm just gonna pick it up on that same brush to concentrate it a little bit more and really blend them together. Even though those colors are so different, even just using that blue, it's blended out so well together. Like there's no problems with blending. Even these kind of like tricky colors, they just blend seamlessly together. This is such a good formula. I kind of want to purchase like his other palettes now because if they're this good, I see what the hype is. <laughs> like typically between these two kind of shades, you'd need like a buffer shade in between. They have just blended together really well. All right, for this inner corner, I'm gonna take the color Ranch, which is just like a shimmery white shade. And I'm gonna put it throughout the inner third of my eye. I think I had a little bit of blue left on my brush cause it's got a little bit of blue there, but I don't mind it mixes in with the rest of the whole look. <laughs> such a pretty white metallic. That is beautiful. I'm actually just gonna try and put this throughout my 
lash line. It has seemed to work as well. That looks so pretty. This is like quite a different color scheme for me. I don't usually go for these kind of like blues. I love purples, but these kind of like blues I don't usually go for. It's like very gray tone kind of blue. I'm kind of living for it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the other eye. I'm gonna add some mascara and lashes and then we'll look at the final look. All right, so this is look one. How are we feeling about it? I'm pretty sure my lashes aren't on properly and also they're cut two different lengths. So um, <laughs> let's not focus on that. It's about the eyeshadow, okay. Don't judge my lashes. <laughs> I'm loving the minty color throughout the crease. It's so beautiful. And then the little pop of purple underneath and that shimmer, that sleep paralysis color is so unique. It's so pretty. Again, this is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I love it. And it proves the point that this kind of palette will make you kind of step out of your comfort zone a bit, which in itself is awesome. They all blended so well together and it turned out so pretty. And I actually used Ranch as a highlight. And if you are pale, it's a really nice, just white reflective base and it disappears on my skin and doesn't give me a white cast. So this is a highlight for me, it's amazing. I've also got it on my inner corner here. I'm in love with this look, but now I wanna do another look. So let's zoom you guys back on in and decide what to do because I have not yet decided. Right. <laughs> so I've reprimed my eyes. I thought I'd switch it up a little bit because I know not everybody uses the P. Louise base as a primer. So I just use concealer this time around. I'm using the Conceal and Hydrate by Makeup Revolution on my lids. Yeah. Let's get back into this baby. I'm kind of feeling the colors. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go straight into the shade Flaming Hot and let's just see what this comes out like. There's a lot of pigment. This looks like a very pink based red, which is kind of normal for a red eyeshadow. Either sway like more orangey or more pink. And there's definitely a little bit of a pink flush in there. I'm just going to tap out the creases on my lid. Let's just, let's just go on in. <laughs> There is a lot of pigment that comes off, but as you can see, it is probably more pink than red. If you build it up though, it comes out more true to the color in the pan. I'm just going in and just kind of blending the edges with the excess color. I'm just going to start blending this on an angle towards the inner corner. I'm not adding any of the product, I'm just using the excesses on my brush. I'm just going to start the shape, even though I have no idea where I'm going with this look, I just want to start building a shape. <laughs> now I think, because I want to use the yellow, okay, I do want to use it. I'm gonna go into the shade Cheeto Dust and I want to start a little bit of an ombre coming out here, I think. Wow, they blend so well together. Like I'm using a big fluffy brush to blend this out, but you still get that color, which is so good. Probably gonna take this past my brow and do a big flaming Cheeto moment. <laughs> By the way, with Flaming Hot and Cheese Dust, there's like no fallout in the pan at all. The formula is a little bit inconsistent with fallout, but as far as pigment and blendability goes, it's not. I think that's the most important thing, is the way it goes on your face. Obviously, you don't want fallout everywhere, but that doesn't have that, so, you know, we're all good. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the shade Food Videos. Because it is so neon, I do worry that it may fluff everywhere and maybe not keep its pigmentation, but we shall see. Let's not judge a book by its stereotypes, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna go around the edges of this orange. It's definitely not as bright on the lid at the moment as it is in the pan, but I still quite like this flame vibe I got going on right now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep building up that color so we can really see it pop. Probably gonna go back in with the orange afterwards. I'm kind of just blending the edges around the red by here as well with that color. It looks like it's kind of drawn out. Quick little tip, by the way, for using reds and things like that. If you find that the red you are using is pulling more pink, go over it with an orangey shade. It counteracts the pink and helps even it out and bring it more to a neutral. I did that for kind of one of my Halloween looks on Instagram, which is this one right here. <laughs> You guys probably already knew that, but I don't know. I'm just helping out the people who didn't. Uh, color theory. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm just building and blending this orange and yellow together so they are seamless. This yellow is one of those shades that I feel like if you want it to really pop off, you need a white base. It is very pretty, but it's not as neon on my actual skin. You can see it there. It does have that neon undertone, but it's not like how, you know, it's not beaming like it is in the palette. Because the Flaming Heart is probably more pink, I think 
I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Um, I'm gonna use my pills <laughs> and I'm going to put this in the kind of inner corner and blend it in. This is a very pale shade, so it's probably not gonna make that much of a difference, but just really to set the concealer so it doesn't budge. You no, know, this my pills color is pretty much just a pinky version of my skin tone. <laughs> kind of blend in that throughout the front of the crease and just blending it in. It's just really like a buffer shade. This one has a little bit more kick up than the other ones have. Okay, so my camera ran out of memory. <laughs> So while I was waiting for my files to transfer over, I just did the same on the other eye. Yeah, I really like this look so far. It's very pretty, very soft, but you know, fiery <laughs> and bold. But I'm not sure if I wanna do anything more to this. Um, maybe add like an inner corner highlight or something. Maybe if I use the conspiracy shade. It's a bit dark for my skin tone as like a inner corner highlight, but who cares? You know, makeup has no rules. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with a little detail brush and just add a little bit. This is a very greeny base gold, like almost like an antique gold color. So pretty. These shimmers are pretty insane. I will admit, I've watched a few reviews of this palette and the shimmers never really impressed me that much. But now that I'm actually playing with them and using them, they are really good. I may just take a little bit of ranch and go right in the inner corner to pop it off, just to lighten it up slightly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with some more concealer underneath my lash line and try and decide what I wanna do underneath. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I've applied a little bit of concealer right underneath my eyes. Um, I haven't set it. Let's get on to the lower lashes. I think I'm just gonna use the same three shades. So I'm just gonna start right at the lash line with Flaming Hot. I'm gonna blend that out with Cheese Dust. And then I'm just gonna join up the lower lash line with the blend that we've done on top with food videos. Now I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner and just line my waterline. Now I'm gonna go finish off the other eye, put on some mascara and lashes, and then we'll move on to the final look. <laughs> okay, so this is the second look. I really, really like this one. I find it hard to do this kind of stuff on my eye shape though. One eye is a different shape to the other, so I always look a little bit odd in my opinion but these eyeshadows are just like insanely blendable you put them on the lid and you get the pigment but also you don't have to act too quickly you can take your time you can blend like i felt by here it was a little bit too harsh so i just went in and quickly blended a brush over top and it just blended so smoothly i really like these shades and also i felt like you could adapt them so you could really pack them on for the pigment or you could just buff and blend them over for a wash of color yeah i really like these warm tone shades that I've just tried. And also that antique gold color. Usually I personally hate those kind of colors, but this one actually surprised me and I don't hate it. It's actually quite a nice color. But yeah, let's move on to the third and final look. I'm really excited for this one because this is probably going to be more of an everyday soft glam look that I want to do. So let's get right on into that one. Hey guys, it's Tinkerial here. Um, <laughs> this video was actually supposed to go up yesterday, um, but unfortunately I had a little mishap um, I managed to snap the SD card that I had all the stuff for this video, hence why I filmed the swatches again. But I actually filmed the whole look that was in the intro of this video and the footage is all gone. Um, but I really wanted to post the video. If you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial or more looks with this palette for like more neutral looks, then just let me know in the comments or leave a thumbs up so I know. Yeah, I was really gutted because I really loved the way that the neutral look came out. I'm happy to film it again if you guys want me to, so please just let me know. And yeah, I can make like a video filming more neutral looks with the palette if you'd like me to. But yeah, sorry that we're gonna be skipping ahead and just completely bypass in one whole look. These things happen. I've got a new SD card now. So yeah, now we're just gonna skip past and go to the lip swatches, which I had already transferred to my hard drive. So yeah, this is me swatching the shade Ryland, and then we're gonna get into the other colors. Let's take a journey into the past and uh, see those beautiful shades. <laughs> Right now I feel like I look a little crazy <laughs> with this whole eye look and uh, lip look but if you like this kind of thing then you probably will like this obviously because you like this kind of thing. Um, it is a very pretty pink with a gold champagne metallic 
Underneath, I would kind of dab this on the center of my lips with a normal lipstick, so like a nude, I'd dab it over the top. And that will brighten and make your lips appear plumper, but you don't have like a sticky gloss, you know? This is the shade Ryland right here. It's very pretty. I really like the reflect of this. I would love to put this all over the eyes. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. My eyes and my lips are gonna kill me <laughs> by the end of this video. I'm just brushing over excess foundation that's left on my foundation brush, by the way, just so we have more of a blank canvas rather than a red and raw one. <laughs> okay, next up is I Gotta Go. This one is kind of what made me decide to buy the metallic shades, and it's this gorgeous bronzy, rosy kind of tone. I feel like over a nude lip, this would look amazing. Let's try it on again. Oh my god, they smell so freaking good. I love the smell of these. Mm. <gasps> again, this all over the lid would look incredible. I haven't really talked about the texture, but it is so lightweight and so airy and moussey. You don't feel like you're putting anything on your lips when you wear these. This one is looking a little bit more sheer than the last one. This is actually really pretty. Again, I feel like I look crazy with it from afar. Um, I feel like up close it doesn't look that crazy, but it is a little bit more sheer, so I can see my lips coming through it a little bit more, but again, I would use this more as a topper, so that doesn't really bother me that much, but if you're a person who actually wants to go out and wear this color by itself, just bear in mind you may have to layer it a little bit. I've layered it twice, but it doesn't feel heavy, so that's great. I don't feel like I've got anything on my lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. Um, Jeffree Star's formula is generally a really good liquid lipstick anyway, but yeah, this is really pretty. And it does look like your lips are glossy. I don't know how it would look on more mature lips, just because it may define the lines a little, but it looks really pretty. Okay, so we are moving on to our final one that I have. There are more in the collection, but it didn't really float my boat, you know? Thank God, because my lips are kind of screaming at me right now. <laughs> okay, so next up is probably the most wearable shade that I picked up. Um, when I say wearable, the one that probably the majority of people would pick from the collection. And that is, are you filming? Based off Andrew, Shane's filming guy. Um, just basically a true red, which goes pretty well with these eyes, I think. So I feel like this is a good one to end on. Let's get this baby on. Mmm, oh my god, this is gonna be perfect for Christmas. Oh gosh, okay. I really like this shade, oh my gosh. This is such a pretty red. I really, really like this. I am complete, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I know I didn't get my hands on the whole collection, but overall, I love it. I feel like we got a little bit of Jeffrey with the fact that it's his product, but then we got a lot of Shane with all the personality. I mean, with the whole series that he did as well, it is quite clear to me that he really cared about the consumer more than the business side because he was given all the business side. He wanted people to know about it and as a consumer I found it really interesting and having an insight was really appreciated. As far as I'm concerned the Conspiracy palette and also the liquid lipsticks are a definite yes from me. I'm obsessed with this red like this is beautiful and also my eyes right now I love the colors on them. Look at that shine. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. I guess I have to say thank you to Shane and Jeffrey for making this more of a interactive experience with a product launch. It's been done so well and Shane with his whole editing and creating the series, I think it was genius, you know, on promotion scale and also creating hype on social media. But I think it was also thought provoking and let people from the outside in a little where we all are kind of curious around, you know, the other side of makeup. But yeah, I think that wraps up this very long video. I'm so sorry, this is probably going to be a very long one because I just wanted to go in depth and show you different looks. If you did make it to the end of this video, thank you so much. <laughs> you are a trooper. How about if you did make it to the end of this video, put a little pig emoji down below just so I can see. I think that would be fun. Okay, well I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. If you'd like to, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We are almost on 700 people. Craziness. <laughs> I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for people who comment like Olivia, Claire, I think it's Vanessa, Valeda. I, I don't think I'm saying your name correctly and I'm so sorry, but there's gonna be other people I miss who comment all the time on my videos and I'm so sorry that I've missed your name. I see you guys all the time and I do recognize you in the comments so thank you so much I try to reply to you all but even if you don't comment just watching just truly means a lot to me in a weird emotional way that I should probably get checked out by a psychiatrist or something um <laughs> I'm joking I'm not I'm not crazy I I'm living my life perfectly fine right I'm gonna stop 
blabbering on because this video is gonna be way too long. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. By the way, with Flaming Hot, by the way, with Flaming, third time lucky. <laughs> Shut up. I'm using the conceal hand. Now I'm just gonna go back in. Hello? Yo, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so funny. And that'll brighten and pop a little hole. Oh, she don't love you anymore. Just walk your finest out the door. Someone is setting off fireworks outside and it's fireworks night tomorrow, not today. Okay. Why you gotta test me? Like why? <laughs> you got a little bit of Jeffrey, we got a little bit we got a little bit of Jeff well, yeah the cons but as far as I'm concerned the conspiracy but as far as I'm concerned the conspiracy why can I not say it? <laughs>